A local school district will be handing out uh, some diplomas in a very memorable way this year because of COVID-19. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Westrop explains how this year's seniors will race to the finish line. With coronavirus putting an end to many seniors plans this year, North Pocono School District isn't having their final hurrah here on campus. Instead, graduation will be held here at the Pocono Raceway. It's a first for North Pocono School District as this year's graduating class will be celebrating on the racetrack. Uh, we started exploring in early April, probably the first week of April, and had conversations weekly all the way through uh, coming to a formal announcement. Eyewitness News spoke to Pocono Raceway CEO Nick Adalski, who says they wanted to help in a way students would never forget years to come. Uh, we had an opportunity to do uh, to, to, to offer an opportunity to make lifelong memories to a senior class that has really been deprived of a, a lot of special opportunities this year. And the raceway is just what is needed to maintain social distancing. We knew what additional deliverables we had at the track, for instance, the jumbotrons, the PA system, the FM station. Um, the space to do an unlimited number of guests. McGraw says speeches by the valedictorian, salutatorian, and class president will be pre-recorded and displayed on the Jumbotron. And instead of having students walk across stage when their name is called, students and families can drive their vehicles around the track. Uh, go through the uh, diploma process with uh, them doing a uh, lap around the track and getting their diploma at the finish line with their, with their family, hopefully in the car and their friends cheering them on from the, the, uh, the track or, or the infield. Students are welcome to make signs and decorate their cars as they would for a graduation cap. The ceremony will be available on a live stream and can be heard on the raceway's internal FM station. And McGraw had one final message to his students currently at home. We're extremely proud of them and we look forward to getting them all together in one place uh, in June. In Monroe County, Logan Westrope, Eyewitness News.